Hello, today we're looking at probably one of the most impressive image generation notebooks I've seen in a while. So if you don't know, this essentially allows you to enter text and using AI, you can generate an image. I made a previous video on a notebook for VQGAN and Clip. However, this one is called Pi TTI 4. This was a notebook which was released maybe five days ago. I wanna thank Michael Carey Chow, who's a friend of mine who tipped me off about this notebook uh, I'm sure he's using it in addition to his own, you know, tool set and other skills that he's built up over the years. But I mean, this is an example of some of his own art. Uh, it's very cool. He's got it, not just the images generating with AI, but you can see that it's looping. Uh, it looks like it's got some central fixed point, perhaps. Here's another one. This is uh, his more later stuff is really focused on these topics in science. This is a little bit some cool sci-fi. It's got a very cool, almost like a ripple effect. And also a lot of his notebooks, they you're, you're not listening to the audio, but it's not just, uh, he doesn't just an animate with AI in these cool loops, but also he's very thoughtful about his music selection as well. So anyways, uh, give uh, give Michael a follow on TikTok. I'm, I'm following him, his account is awesome. Now, getting to this notebook. So first off, like I, I encourage you to read all these instructions uh, because the big thing about this notebook is it just has a lot of different options. It's got a lot of settings, right? So, and it has a lot of features. So uh, for example, so even writing your text prompt, you know, it lets you write your prompt. In this case, I wrote CN Tower, downtown Toronto. But it also lets you specify a weight and a stop value as well. And you could have multiples. So I could put the CN Tower in downtown Toronto. I could put Toronto City Landscape. I could put, you know, uh, urban, urban landscape, right? In addition to their weights and respective stops, it looks like they can be directional as well. Uh, so again, this is like I was saying, make sure you read the instructions, understand what all of these things mean. In this case, I'm just putting, I'm keeping it simple. So I wrote CN Tower in downtown Toronto, and then the prefix is in the style of Giorgio de Carico, and then I've just put like a sort of a classic, uh, another tag and a very realistic imitation. I want something that looks a lot like uh, Giorgio de Carico. I, I guess I could have also increased the weight, probably that would have been a better idea. But anyways, like I, I'm still messing around myself. You know, image prompts, you could specify, you could specify an initial image to start with. I believe these are the image output settings. Uh, what's cool about it is uh, you can choose which model. So I've picked limited palette, but I could have also picked VQGAN or unlimited palette. And you can specify their settings below. This is the settings for animation mode. You can see the options goes goes go on and on. There's video tracking. I guess you can even you can even animate an actual image in this thing called 3D mode. Uh, finally, this is the output section, and this is just choosing another model. In this case, I've chosen the very basic VITB32. Although for high renders, he recommends these three if you get a good GPU, if Google Colab assigns you a very good one. Um, anyways, so th this is another handy feature as well. So this notebook has built in, like you can save your settings to your Google Drive and you can import your previous settings. That's really handy if you do this stuff at a professional level, a higher level, you're looking to practice a few hours a week, not having to configure the same settings each time. It, like it's, it's a real time saver. And also it lets you explore a single prompt many times you might have one prompt and for for two weeks you just look at what does it generate what does it generate what does it generate and just pick the best one and so anyways just even the settings not just the options of settings the variety of them but even being able to save and reload them for future sessions is really handy you can see now i'm running my prompt and this is what it's got so far but i you know i, I just started it so I, I imagine i still have probably hundreds of iterations to go uh so Altogether, uh, what I like about this notebook is that it's very feature rich. It does look intimidating at first, especially if you're a beginner. But again, there's only a few fields which actually matter, just like any previous notebook, like, like the video I made on VQGAN and Clip. You really just need to know about 
I guess, to start with, you just need to enter a simple text prompt and maybe even a prefix if you want, otherwise you don't have to. So far, the I haven't ran into too many bugs in this notebook, which is also nice. Um, and, you know, it gives you a lot of configurability if, if you're an artist and, and you do want different things to happen in your notebook, kind of like Michael, how I mentioned earlier. Now, uh, what I want what I want to clarify is I'm not going to be sharing the link to this notebook, and that's because it's part of a Patreon. So I encourage you to actually subscribe to the Patreon. I'm paying five dollars a month. Once you pay at that base level, then you get the link to the notebook. Now, I guess I could share the notebook link, but I just I don't want to break the rules of the community. And also, I do want to give credit to Sports Racer 48, who is the author of the notebook. Right. So I think you should support his work, support him or her as they continue to develop these notebooks for us to make cool stuff with. Uh, finally, you'll notice I'm not using Google Colab. I'm using Google Colab Pro. So I'm also paying for this. Uh, you can see it's about $14 Canadian a month. Uh, I'm paying for this just so I can reliably get access to a decent GPU. You can see here I'm getting the Tesla P100. In the free version of Google Colab, like you're not guaranteed necessarily like the good or the best GPUs. You're kind of guaranteed whatever's available. And I just felt by paying for Google Colab, it's just going to save me a lot of time so that I'm not always worried about the GPU. At least this time I got something decent where then I can just proceed with uh, just generating images and, and just experimenting and having fun. So anyways, uh, I'm going to put the link to the Patreon below if you're interested in uh, checking out this notebook, playing around with it. I want to thank Michael Karachow again. Make sure you give him a follow on TikTok. And I'm going to just keep posting anytime. If you have a go-to Google Colab notebook, if anything multimodal, whether it's image, video, audio generation, send it my way. And if you've made anything with this notebook, uh, like some cool art you want to share, hit me up on Twitter at B-A-K-Z-T Future. I will retweet it and you could very well be part of my artist roundup, which is coming up soon. It's going to be a video just sharing different multimodal AI artists who are up to really cool things. That's it for today. See you in the next one.